Hey gang, here today I have a very rare semi-automatic version of a Finnish Army assault rifle. This is the Seiko M92S. It is a civilian semi-automatic version of the Finnish RK95 select fire assault rifle, which is essentially the last and possibly the, the one that's gonna close the chapter on the famous Valmet series of assault rifles, which in and of themselves were based on the Soviet AK. Now this one's in 762 by 39. It has one of the black polymer magazines. Interestingly enough, up here, of course, you have the lanyard loop, because remember, they get a lot of snow up in Finland. Side folding buttstock, which is unusual on the civilian semi-automatic version, the M92S, because generally they had a fixed buttstock that did not side fold. This particular one has a side folder. It also has the selector, AK style selector, that goes with the side folding buttstock. You also have night sights in addition to your standard aperture post front. Up front, you have a multi-function flash suppressor, which also takes rifle grenades, and, and you can see heavily influenced by FN. Upturned charging handle, which is something, of course, you see on the Galil. Now, one thing I've seen, I've seen some pictures of this particular weapon on the internet. They don't have a really good system to mount optics to it. You'll see some optic mounting solutions that are on the left side of the gun that are not ideal. I'm gonna bust some caps out of this thing here in just a second and give you my shooting impressions of probably the only one in the United States, Seiko M92S. Stay tuned. All right, picking up the M92S right off the bat, you can tell it's got some weight to it, partially because it uses a forged and machine lower receiver. The Valmets are kind of famous for that. They did make some weapons with stamp sheet metal receivers, but a lot of their guns had forged machine steel lowers. Now, there's no reason in this day and age you couldn't go with a stamp sheet metal receiver and then that Although you may compromise somewhat on durability and accuracy downrange, bottom line is for the soldier, it's lighter weight and you're gonna always be carrying a gun more than you're shooting it. All right, time to load it up and go hot. All right, here we go. Okay, right off the bat, pretty soft shooting. Not only the weight, but my hunch is the fins didn't overgas it like a lot of 7.62x39 AKs are overgassed. In addition, I'm shooting good old Finnish Lapua ammunition. And 7.62x39, this stuff is fantastic. It has an excellent reputation for quality and also for being very, very accurate. On the magazine release, I've noticed right-handed shooter, you have this extended tab right here. So you can extend your trigger finger down as a right-hander, hit it, take the mag out. You can also come up with your thumb if need be, all right, and take the mag out as well. Pretty slick. Now, one of the things the fins have really endeavored to do here is try to cinch down the top cover. This has always been an issue with the AK. In terms of sights or optics that are mounted on the top cover, you always have the, the devil in the details of trying to cinch this thing down tight. If you notice, they have a little cam lever over here to really cinch it and lock it down. Now, they don't mount optics to this top cover, but they're concerned about it from an iron sight point of view. Bust a few more. Cool. Now, night sights are standard on this. You flip the rear sight in that in between position, and then you have a rear pistol notch here that has a night sight, and then up front you flip up your night sight, and then you have now you have the ability to run this gun at night with standard issue night sights, which is not a bad idea. I'm more of a fan, frankly of the front sight only as a night sight. What I've found is night sights on service rifles that are closer to your eye on the rear sight have a tendency to blind you and completely wash everything out. I'd almost rather run a front night sight only and just look over the rear sight versus having the tritium in the rear.
pretty slick. Gun isn't really heating up right now. I'm gonna try the gas cutoff valve up here. It should be single shot now. See how it goes. Okay, yeah. All right, so although you can shoot this thing single shot live rounds, it's obviously meant to launch rifle grenades. I don't know that I would recommend it. Now, stock bolts to the side, you pinch it, just like that, it collapses to the side. All you need to do is take it out, just like that. Now, it doesn't have a bolt hold open device. Got two more rounds left, so just like a standard AK, you're gonna get that click. Click, that's your clue that it's time to reload the weapon. Hope you enjoyed it, Seiko M92S. Moon Rock here in the United States. Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.